Hello dear learners welcome to the channel Ish Bin John and we are on our lesson 4 of the grammar that is part of a speech very well we know that there are eight part of a speech in number let us name them noun pronoun verb adverb keep this adjective alone and at the end we have three shun that is preposition conjunction and interjection before knowing about them in just first of all let us talk about why learning part of a speech is important first of all what is part of a speech we know that words are divided into different kinds or clauses these are known as the part of a speech in a simple term when we make a vegetable we don't use single thing alone when the vegetable the combination of many things makes the vegetable tastier the salt chili and others so is our language when we use only name alone the language will be so much boring that others would not be wanting to listen to us but when we use the combination of different things ideas and we make our language beautiful that's why to make and sound interesting of language we learn part of a speech yes the first part of a speech is the noun what is noun noun is a word used as the name of a person place or things just to remember noun in a simple term we have to learn the word only name we can also say noun is a naming word when we use this definition it covers everything the name of place animal feeling quality etc let us take the example akbar was a great king so here the akbar is the noun it is the name of a person okay let us go to our next part of this speech that is pronoun what is pronoun pronoun is a word used instead of noun so one word we have to give focus that is instead and what is the meaning of instead in hindi that is sthan par ab yahan pe kiske sthan par संज्ञा दैट इज नाउन के स्थान पर जो वर्ड इस्तेमाल होता है प्रनाउन एग्जाम्पल जॉन इज अबसेंट बिकॉज ही इज इल सो वी डोंट यूजली रिपीट द सेम वर्ड अगेन एंड अगेन वेन अ नेम इज टोल्ड सो इन अवर नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस वी कैन यूज एज ही सो दिस आई वी यू ही शी इट आर नोन एज द प्रनाउन लेट इज टॉक अबाउट नाउ द थर्ड वर्ड दैट इज पा वर्ब what is verb verb is an action we have to give focus to the word action for example there are so many verbs eat sleep drink these are actions right the girl wrote a letter to her cousin this is the example let us go to our next part of the speech that is adverb when you hear the word adverb in the word itself the definition is hidden adding something about the verb we can also add something about the adjective or another adverb but we have to remember adding something about the verb for example he worked the sum quickly he worked worked is the verb here and we are talking about the verb how he worked he worked quickly so usually in the adverb we see the ly word quickly correctly beautifully let us Talk about now adjective. What is adjective? An adjective is a word used to add something to the meaning of a noun. When we talk about noun, for example, he is a brave boy. यहाँ पे हम he के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं कैसा है वो he is a brave. So we are talking about the quality of the person. विशेषता बता रहे हैं. So adjective is adding something about the meaning of noun. Yes, let us now come to the three shun, and the first one is the preposition. Preposition. A preposition is a word used with a noun or a pronoun. It is used before. Example: There is a cow in the garden. In is the preposition. Another one: The girl is fond of music. of the small small words in of under these are known as preposition and these are used before noun or pronoun yes now let's talk about the conjunction conjunction is a word 
used to join words or sentence obviously when something is broken we have very quick to join but uh, what about our sentence or words we want to join we use conjunction what is conjunction the words like and or but these are known as the conjunction word yes now let's talk about interjection what is interjection an interjection is a word which expresses some sudden feelings for example hurray we have won the match so usually the interjection words are with the, the exclamatory mark so i hope you have understood something about the part of speeches thank you for listening